yes the Ken cam i so the Ken brand has this home cam 360 so it's an indoor security camera which comes with 360 degree protection which means it can track seamlessly 360 degrees so wherever there is movement it intelligently tracks and notifies you and for the first time in india i guess this thing has cloud-based recording which is really nice you can access it from anywhere so if you have got the cloud recording plans so they have some plans here you can opt for any plan depending on your budget or depending on your usage it really helps without uh, depending on the sd card or other source of recording so it's really easy once you set it up you just opt for any plan and it start to record and stores cloud based so the cloud based servers are also located in india that is why you get very fast streaming without any hiccups or lag so that's really a nice thing here and i'm really excited to test how this one works and there's also intelligent tracking to a speaker and plenty of features going for it all this one comes for just rupees 2750 yes it is going on offer for 2750 rupees you can check the description of this video for latest updated pricing as well so i'm really excited to test this one because this is proudly made in india so first let's go ahead and unbox the kent home cam 360 let's look at what's inside the box how's the build quality and i will also show you how to set it up for the first time a complete setup tutorial and we will go through the picture quality which it comes with 2 megapixel camera it has the 1080p resolution that it records with so we will also look at all those things and guys before we begin this video don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you are new to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends if you like these kind of reviews and videos let's go ahead and unbox this one so here's the Ken Cam i home cam 360 box packaging that it comes with and as you can see the model itself is here you can really see how it looks and there's written here next gen security with 360 degree protection and the app is supported on android as well as apple and there is also this 2 megapixel full hd 1080p written over here which is really interesting and we have to see how's the picture quality because it uses 2 megapixel lens and that's really nice and taking a look at the side of the box we do have the features written over here it gives 360 degree panoramic view like i said in the video earlier and it also has motion detection activity zone you can set the activity zone where you want to track the person if there is any movement and you also have this micro sd card support up to 128 gb night vision support live video streaming you can do through cloud based system as well there's two-way calling continuous recording in micro sd card is also supported the most important thing is event-based cloud recording yes and the servers are in india itself and it helps you access really fast so the streaming is fast and it records whenever there is a situation or some person movement it sees so it automatically records cloud and it notifies you so that's again a neat feature here and there is also automatic privacy mode and there is multi-use and multi-camera support as well it also works with alexa which is interesting and on the back side of the box as you can see there is product written over here with product code package it contains and obviously the product weight here it weighs in at just 273 grams and it's proudly made in india that's what i'm really excited to see how's the build quality and everything else so let's go ahead and uh, yeah on this side of the box you do get the qr code here you can just scan and download the app you can also download the user manual and watch some product videos you don't have to because i'll show you how to set up in this video itself so this is the top side of the box let me quickly open this one and let's take a look at what's inside the box so the first thing you see is for installation support please call on this mobile number and timing is also written here so the camera itself is here which we will take a look at in a moment so there is a box a box inside a box and we do have the warranty card registration here serial number product code let me keep this one here so here's the box that it comes with it should have some accessories obviously and the first thing you see is the usb which is micro usb i would have expected a type c usb but they should do the job as well so there is a purple accent over here which is interesting because this is ip based camera and here's some screw and as you can see you can fix this on the base of uh, tabletop anywhere and for that you have these plates which is really handy and which is really good that kent has included all these things and uh, here's the power adapter and it's rated at 0.35 amperes you just need a little bit of power to wake that up so this is the camera itself as you can see how's the camera finishing let me remove this wrap and as you can see this is how the camera looks so Ken Cam I, you have the microphone here, LED indicator, 
on the bottom of the camera you do get the reset button which comes in really handy and there is this micro SD card slot I would have expected this to be not this much open but anyhow you'll be fixing it to the bottom of any tabletop permanently so that should not be an issue but still this should have been hidden again you have the microphone here and let me take a look at the back side you do get the two-way speaker out this speaker should be really powerful so because of uh, how huge this one looks so let's uh, test that out as well and it supports two-way speaker which means you can talk to this from anywhere and the person who is in your office or wherever you have set the camera can hear it very well and can reply to you as well so that's really nice and on the top obviously i've seen on the bottom that's it and on the side you have this crease here so overall, it's a very nice build, I would say. As you can see, it's made of ABS plastic and the plastic quality is really good. So that's what I'm very happy to say. So kudos to that. So this is how it is. And these are the contents that you get inside the box. So let's go ahead and connect this one. So let's set it up. All right, guys, it's time to set up the Kent Cam I. So first thing you want to do is to download the application, which is available on Play Store and Apple's store as well. So here's the Kent Cam I. You just type in Kent Cam I and search on the Play Store. You'll get this app. So once once you have installed just go ahead and tap on open so that's the first thing you do obviously so you just have to create your account and then let's go ahead and connect this one you can either use the power brick provided inside the box along with the USB or if you have got an extension like this or say anywhere USB powered connection you just go ahead and plug in the USB cable like this just go ahead and connect this one and so once you do that a red light pops up here indicator so let me keep this one there you go you heard the sound now this one rotates 360 degree along with the camera here pan and tilt as well so let it reset it's ready to be connected and paired as you can see it's actually flashing purple here so it should blink purple like this so once it is doing that let's go ahead and take the device so add your first device just tap on this one and choose home cam so just find the qr code on the back of the camera here and i'll just go ahead and use the qr code here boom it's that fast and easy so you can name the camera here i'll just go ahead so i'll just name it office you can choose the pre-written labels here so once we have named tap on next so if you have wi-fi at your home it's really good so just connect your wi-fi existing wi-fi network and this will sync with the wi-fi connection so i'll just go ahead and enter my wi-fi network here and come back so once we have entered the Wi-Fi network here, the next step is really important. So take back of your camera and double press this reset button in order to start connecting. So I'll go ahead and double press this reset button and it started the blinking purple again. So even if it's already blinking purple, you just don't have to do that reset button. You can just tap on next here and place the QR code QR in front code. of the camera. There you go, QR code scan successfully and I'll just go ahead and tap on next. Connecting to internet. So it says connecting to internet, Wi-Fi connection, firmware update, server connection, finalizing step. So if there is a firmware update, it definitely Take takes up. a little while in order to get that firmware update. So it automatically updates the camera firmware as well. And let's go ahead and open this office. And as you can see, it should start working there I am hello there so this is how it is so it's uh, pretty smooth on how the camera actually rotates so that's a good part here so you can listen there you go since we are very near to the speaker there is a disturbance obviously there is speak here let me talk and show you hello there, hello there. there you go so you have two way calling basically you can talk to the camera and it transfers to your mobile app and you can also use the night vision here so there are plenty of settings to play with automatic off and on there is video quality so by default this is really important guys by default it has selected to 360p which we don't want let's change it to high 1080p you can insert the micro sd card here on the back side 
as you can see in order to get that recording on the sd card also you can record it on the phone's memory sd card so there is 360 degree scan there is recenter so if by any chance you have turned the camera somewhere else you can just tap on recenter and the good thing is once it tracks intelligently automatically when it detects any person's movement and once that person has gone out of the frame automatically it reverts back to the original position that you have set so that's a kudos here and that i really loved the picture quality as you can see let me turn this one to full screen and here we are as you can see how's the picture quality here the brightness and on how this one is adjusting i feel like it's little bit on the contrast side so the contrast is little higher on this camera as compared to some other cameras out there in the market but then again the picture quality is really good since it has two megapixel camera you shouldn't be worried about the picture quality and i'm really impressed on how the software has been built around to work seamlessly so there is easy access if you want to go ahead and just take a photo just tap on this one and instantly it captures photo and stores it in your camera gallery you can also store it cloud based which i'm going to show right now let's go ahead and take a look at the menu option here so there are plenty of menu to play with so there is playback scroll through recording so here you have the memory card so i've not inserted any memory card on my phone so if i just insert that it will show up here there is cloud based recording which i really appreciate from kent because you can store this one easily and access from anywhere without any fuss so i highly suggest that you opt for cloud plans from here which really helps you can go to their website or even they have given it on the box you can find that very easy and opt for the cloud based plan so you can have this timestamp mark and you can also delete that one see already it has recorded if there is any person movement there is noise level there is human detection and based on uh, what it categorizes it shows you here you can speed up the playback you can do all sorts of that you can download it to your phone as well so if you are like recording it cloud based you can download that sequence on your phone as well you can listen to it because it has two way function the microphone is also recorded let's say some thief has uh, stolen something so whatever he talks will be recorded so that's really helpful you can bookmark it if you don't want to lose through all the recordings so there is plenty of options there is alert here enable privacy mode so if you don't want others to see this one you can enable privacy mode by the alerts you can also enable siren which is really loud so i'll just go ahead and enable siren see how loud the siren is okay so it's that loud so what all has happened in the gallery you'll get four different things here downloaded one bookmarks and on cloud four videos are there with the memory card as well so there is plenty of settings to play with with regard to notification if you want all the push notification you can enable or switch off that so there is camera settings i really appreciate kent on how detailed they have set here because they have not skipped on anything usually manufacturers do that purposefully on giving you different models to buy so higher the model you buy with the expensive thing so you get all the features so that's not what you see with the kent they have provided all the features which is required and that's uh, really appreciated live streaming is on two way calling is on speaker volume like i said there is low medium as well as high you can set the speaker volume there is record audio video quality so this is again an important thing here once you have set up the camera by default it's set to 720p recording not the live streaming live streaming we have set it to 1080p right from 360p to 1080p so if you want to save some data you can just stream it with the 360p and record it with the high 1080p so again that really helps there is record audio you can either record the microphone audio or keep it off record on memory card you get the drill right so all those things are present here record mode how you want the record mode to be based on cloud so with the motion detection even with the slight noise detection it starts to record and save it in the cloud so there is motion or noise both you can select additional video post event is also here so whenever there is a motion it records and then records one or two minutes depending on what you have set extra so there is night vision automatic obviously set it to automatic night vision sensitivity enable when dark when dusk so again that thing also you can set so what's the camera status right now default position of the camera you can also set the default position again that's a little all these little details really has to be appreciated right so they have not skipped on anything that is what i loved so default position you can set there is mirror invert image so if you want the image to be inverted you can do that you can mirror the image timestamp watermark here's the setting you can turn it off or on 
depending on how you like so sync camera time zone obviously so there is camera information alexa setup guide is also here so if you are using home automation or if you have alexa you can just go ahead and tap on this one and set up the alexa and there is power and reset here edit wi-fi setting memory card privacy mode as you can see with the privacy mode you can turn that on so there is plenty of things that you can play with so after testing this for quite a while the detection itself is really sharp as any noise or even motion is detected it really notifies you and records you automatically but then while tracking the movement it is not happening that fast as i thought it should be so that's the only little gripe here and another one is when it detects a motion it takes quite a while to recognize and move here but then it does not actually tilt so there is no upward and downward movement uh, when it detects human so whenever it detects a face and when there is a movement with that face it should automatically detect and track properly so that's not happening and uh, that could be improved with a firmware update easily so again if you are watching this video full definitely give that a try and if you just update the firmware with the things i mentioned this will be one of the best and perfect device and available right in the market at this price range and the movement here another thing that i would like to point out is if i just tap on this movement it happens to a predetermined position predetermined angle so as if they have written this degree has to be moved that much it will move as you can clearly see here if i just tap and hold it does not move Move fluidly so it does not let me move to my predetermined position if I just tap on that it will move to certain angle and then stop so that is what is happening even with a slight touch it should move only little not to the predetermined position I hope you get what I am saying so only those two things I found negative about this but rest of the all it's working fine the picture quality is great night vision is great the rest of the things are really good to a speaker calling and all those features works really well so this video just is uh, i think it's too long because of the detailed review i hope this video helped you in deciding to buy this camera a big thumbs up from me actually it with regard to how the picture quality is and how the camera overall functions so a definitely thumbs up from my side if you are looking for a home indoor security camera so you can just go ahead and buy this one so i hope this video was helpful to you guys if yes hit that like button and do share it with your friends so that they can know and buy it as well definitely check the description for latest updated pricing of this product and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel all right guys that's it in this video i will see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye